Hey everyone, my name is Natalie Piazza. I'm a 3L here at Notre Dame Law School. Um, and I'm about to give you a tour of our beautiful campus. So just to introduce myself, um, I did my undergrad at the University of Southern California. I studied business and film. And then I came straight here to Notre Dame uh, for law school. And after graduation, I'll be working for Sidley Austin in their commercial litigation and disputes group in Dallas, Texas. So there are so many ways to get involved here at Notre Dame Law School. Um, I've been really involved since my 1L year. So actually my first couple weeks on campus, I ran for 1L rep. Um, for the Student Bar Association and then the following year I was elected to, to, to treasurer of SBA. In addition, um, I also was the Dallas Alumni Ambassador for our Alumni Relations Office and my honestly my favorite part of law school, the program I've been most excited to be part of is the Moot Court program. Um, I'm on the Seventh Circuit team there so as a 3L I actually am getting to work under the supervision of a practicing lawyer to do a direct criminal appeal to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. So that's been a really exciting experience um, to be part of just as a law student before I even begin my practice. So right now we are in Eck Hall, which is one of the newer uh, law school buildings. It's an 85,000 square foot building that um, houses lecture halls that many of you would have classes in your 1L year. Some seminar rooms. We have our McCartan courtroom here behind me where we have um, a moot court final round argument every year. So I wanted to take an opportunity to talk a little bit with you about the lifestyle here at Notre Dame. Notre Dame is a very collegial friendly uh, law school and I attribute a lot of that to us being in South Bend. Um, unlike a lot of law schools where there's more of a commuter culture, everyone lives within 10 minutes of the law school here and so there's a really strong student and faculty presence in the building almost all the time. So that's something that's really great if you're wanting, you know, kind of like college again. Uh, we're all very friendly and close and it's a really close-knit community here. So now I'm standing in front of the Career Development Office and this is an office that you will come to know very well um, almost immediately upon stepping foot on campus. Um, the Career Development Office is here every single day. We have several Career Development Officers who are here to help guide you with finding jobs. Um, and I'll take a second to note that part of what makes Notre Dame such an amazing law school is our alumni network. And because our alumni are truly, you know, in national reach, there's really no market that you do not have access to through the alumni network. And it's really helpful when you're applying for jobs um, to have an alumni in the area that you're trying to work who can vouch for you and make sure that your resume gets to the top of the pile. Our students really go all over the country. And so that really contributes to our collegial non-competitive environment here and makes just going to law school here a really um, fun, collaborative and supportive experience. So now we're heading into, we're in the basement of um, Eck Hall right now, and we're walking into the locker area. So what's great is everyone at the law school has a locker. Um, you can, I keep all of my stuff here so that I don't have to like take any of it home at the end of the day. Um, this one is mine. I don't even have a lock on it, so that's kind of bad. But um, I find that it's really nice to just keep everything here so I don't have to bring it home. And this loops around um, and we're passing the changing room. So what's great is, I don't know if you saw in there, but you can hang your like professional clothes. And so if you have an interview or a clinic or um, you're doing moot court and you have an argument that you need to be a business professional for, you can bring it to school, change in um, any of these fitting rooms and that way you don't have to wear your business formal all day. So the last thing I'll show you here in the basement is the SBA store. So I mentioned the Student Bar Association earlier, but everyone is a member. Um, there are opportunities to run for elected positions, but something really unique about the Student Bar Association is SBA actually holds the trademark rights to um, Notre Dame law. So like all the apparel in the Notre Dame main bookstore, you'll notice there's no Notre Dame law apparel. It's because it's only sold here in the law school at the SBA store. So I'm gonna take you inside um, we always have members of the SBA executive committee working the store. So if that's something you'd like to do, you should for sure run for an elected position. Um, and our own students design all of the apparel. They run the store. So next time you're in the law school, you should uh, definitely come by. So now we're on the second floor of Act Hall and we have different um, types of rooms up here. So downstairs and upstairs are the large um, lecture style halls, but here we have what we call our seminar rooms or our skills rooms. Um, I'll take you inside. 
Normally during uh, non-COVID times, we have these chairs arranged in a circle. Um, actually, my constitution, modern constitutional theory class with then judge Amy Coney Barrett was in here and we had um, all the desks in a circle. So it really was good for facilitating more seminar style discussion. So I'll take you out here and I'll show you where the faculty rooms are. These are the smaller style skills training rooms. So you can actually rent them out, um, not rent them out, reserve them. I'll show you this one. And so if you wanna like do work or something in a closed environment, um, you can rent one of these out. You can use the um, board here. I've also reserved one of these in order to use the big screen, like when working on a group project. So that's really helpful. And then out here, um, in this office and in that office down there, you have um, a lot of faculty offices. So all the professors here do office hours. Um, so you can go and meet with them outside of class if you have questions or you just wanna get to know them better. Um, our professors are so accessible. I can't even emphasize that enough. Um, I have relationships with professors that I've actually never even had in class. They're just so committed to our students. Um, but it's a great idea to go to office hours, especially your 1L year when everything is new. So the legal writing professor's offices are all down this hallway, um, which is nice. They also make themselves very available for one else who are drafting their briefs. Um, and now we're going into the commons, which is the main common area. And I'll first tell you that this looks very different in non-COVID times. It's People are not usually spread out. Um, but of course with COVID, we have to take special precautions. But this is really where everyone comes during their passing period. Um, I'll show you, we have a cafe, so you can get food here at the law school. Um, I'll take you to the other end. So now we're at the Crossings Cafe. This is where you can come. It's open, um, I think from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day um, during the week. So you can come and have a lot of like grab and go options. We have a bunch of beverages, snacks. Um, we also do a sandwich bar. We do a breakfast sandwich bar, a lunch sandwich bar, and then there's always a special. So now we're gonna walk into the library and this is a quiet zone. So I'm gonna have to speak a little quieter. So over on the left side, we have all of the librarians office and um, they are your legal research professor in your 1L year, but they're around all the time, 2L, 3L, even when you're working this summer, um, to help you with any research tasks or research questions that you might have. So now we're in the main reading room in the library. So again, it's a quiet zone, but um, as you can see, it's a very different setup because of COVID, um, but normally, there are all those reading tables that are spread out. Um, something unique about the law school is that we actually have a space for every single person in the library. So there's always room for you to study here. Uh, the law school was planned that way so that there would be space for everyone. So this is actually my favorite place to study in the law school because if you look out the window, you can see the American flag and the dome um, right there. So it's so beautiful, especially like when it's snowing and it's just a really beautiful scene here to look out to while doing your work. So this is another reading room. It's a really popular study spot. Um, again, set up differently because of the current uh, COVID policies. But um, there are armchairs if you don't want to just study at a desk, but plenty of desk space and reading lights. And this leads us into the computer lab, which is another place that I study a lot. Um, we also have like these individual study rooms. So if that's, again, this is another option if you, if, if you can't get a reservation for one of the skills rooms in EC. So now we're in the computer lab and this is, um, there's almost always a computer available for you to use. So if you wanna come and do your work here on a desktop instead of on your laptop at home. Um, another great reason to come to the computer lab is because this is where our printers are. So you can connect to the Wi-Fi from anywhere on campus, um, but when you're on campus, you can also send any printing and you can send it right to the law school uh, printers. And the law school actually gives us $70 a semester for printing and I've never gone over that and I print everything in color basically. So it's definitely really valuable because then you don't have to go off campus to print anything. Right now we're standing in front of Notre Dame Law Review. I'll take you inside, show you the office. 
Um, in addition to the Law Review, we have um, some other journals on campus that are more topic focused. We have a journal that is um, based on legislation, we have a journal based on public policy, one on international law, and then our most recently added journal is the Journal of Emerging Technologies that is IP focused. Um, and every 1L has an opportunity to write on to any of these journals. Um, at the end of your 1L year, we have a write-on process that um, has a blue book quiz and a journal note writing process, and you submit those materials to the journals, and there's a selection process that takes place. So now I'm going to take you inside the chapel. Something really special about Notre Dame is that we have chapels in every building on campus. Um, so this is the law school chapel, really beautiful stained glass windows. Uh, we have daily mass in here. We have a um, priest in residence at the law school. So he says uh, daily mass. And then there's also mass at the Basilica regularly. I will mention that although Notre Dame is a Catholic law school, um, all faiths are welcome and the spiritual resources that we have available are there if you want them, but are by no means a requirement. So um, up there is the commons actually that we were in earlier. There's a breezeway here that connects the Lokini to the new building F. Um, but I'm just gonna walk you around this side of the, camp of the law school and tell you a little bit about life at Notre Dame, about the campus and about um, housing opportunities here in South Bend. So right here we have the engineering building um, and next to the engineering building is this little sitting area. Sometimes when the weather is nice, like today, um, my friends and I will go and eat lunch over there. Um, at the very end there is Duncan Student Center, and there we have our gym. We have a coffee shop that sells Illy Coffee, um, and we also have um, several dining options that are like more fast casual. We have a um, Asian restaurant. We have a modern market, which is just more like I don't know, American California cuisine, like pizzas, burgers, salads. Um, we also have in that building um, a graduate student lounge. So graduate students have access to it. It's like a really quiet study space. I've never used it, but I have friends that go there. Um, it's pretty famous for the peanut butter sandwiches. That's like the only thing in there. They have bread and peanut butter. So you can always go make a peanut butter sandwich. Um, and then on this side, we have uh, an another entrance to Ec Hall that I'll take you through. Uh, quickly, just to talk about housing, um, South Bend has some of the most affordable housing options in the country. I'd say the two most popular buildings for law students are probably the Overlook, which is on that side of campus, and the Foundry, which is on that side of campus. They're probably equidistant to the law school, about a 15 minute walk. Um, additionally, there are several buildings that are just a drive away from campus. Um, a lot of people live in Mishawaka and Granger as well, if you want something a little bit farther away. But there are a ton of options, so I'd encourage you to just go online. There's also an off-campus housing website that Notre Dame provides that might uh, lay out for you some of those other options. So now I'm passing the football stadium because no Notre Dame tour would be complete without footage of the stadium, of course. Um, I'm actually heading to Eddy Street Commons, which is a street just off of campus, about a 10 minute walk from the law school. And there are a bunch of coffee shops, a restaurant, a Notre Dame bookstore, an apartment building called the Foundry that a lot of law students live in. Um, and a couple of bars that during non-COVID times have karaoke and trivia night. So I'll show you a little bit of um, Eddy Street Commons. Thanks so much for watching this tour of Notre Dame Law School. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what your life would look like here at Notre Dame Law. Um, I wish you all the best of luck in the admissions process and as always, go Irish.